Tell me that wasn't amazing. Hey, Blue. How are you doing? I mean, it's kind of cute. This is what's amazing. Blue, the new artificial intelligence robot unveiled in San Jose today at what's called the Super Bowl of AI. Good evening. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. The Super Bowl of AI is NVIDIA GTC. The conference happens all week and the CEO delivered the keynote today. NVIDIA is a Santa Clara based company that dominates the artificial intelligence industry. It makes the chips the hardware used in systems like chat GPT and others. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes uh, joins us now live with a look at the future according to NVIDIA. Zach. Yeah, that keynote address is really one of the most anticipated moments of GTC, which is going on all week long. And in that two hour speech, there were so many developments and announcements that were brought up. But one of the most remarkable and visual, as you saw, is the latest in robotics. NVIDIA GTC kicked off Monday and is now in full swing following CEO Jensen Huang's keynote address at San Jose's SAP Center. Welcome to GTC! In front of an audience of thousands of developers, business leaders and more, Huang shared the latest on the progress of AI. In the keynote address, he said robotics is the next wave and is already happening, something he showed off at the end of that speech. Hey Blue, how are you doing? NVIDIA announcing Tuesday the first open humanoid robot foundation model, along with simulation frameworks to speed robot development. Now what you are looking at is com complete real-time simulation. This is how we're going to train robots in the future. The newly announced model created to help develop humanoid robots is called Isaac Groot N1. Uh, robots have the benefit, the benefit of being able to interact with the physical world and do things that otherwise digital information cannot. Huang saying that robots could eventually do things like help in a future labor shortage. And so this is going to be a very, very large industry. There are all kinds of robotic systems. Your infrastructure will be robotic. Billions of cameras and warehouses and factories. Tech expert Mark Vina says the announcements made Tuesday only build on advances we're already seeing in day-to-day -day life. Uh, for example, automobile makers have been using robotics for the last 30 or 40 years to get the cost down, you know, to hire as many workers. And what up until this point, robotics has been really great at, um, you know, doing things in repetition with zero error. But those advancements previewed Tuesday are taking things to an all new level. And that ability is to be able to have robots that work in context with each other, can do things when it, it detects an error, you know, it can actually plan proactively to fix that error. It may require other robots to help it in that mission. So that's a completely different model. And when you think about the efficiencies that can drive, it's pretty stunning and, and, and compelling. So that newly announced foundation or framework model that can be used to develop robots, it's going to be open source. So a lot of developers can use that and bring in their own innovation and ideas. So it's going to be really exciting to see what comes from that. Right now live in San Jose, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News. It is really fascinating. Thanks, Zach, very much.